Good morning, everyone. Today is Quinny's first day of grade one. Grade one. Are we a bit excited? Yeah. He gets to stay with all his friends from last year because they decided that because of COVID that they'd keep all the kids together. Um, this year, that who were in their class last year, so all of his friends are going to be in there. Now, watch. Do you remember what your teacher's name is? Miss Young Muir. Muir, yeah. So we're just about to leave to walk to school. It's a bit rainy, so hopefully we won't get too wet on the way. So Quinn will be eager to tell us all about it when he when he comes home from school you today. Can drive me. No, we're not. We're not driving. <laughs> we're only walking. Just now. So we'll see you later. Say bye. Good job. Oh, it's so quiet here. So he hasn't started kinder yet, but Dan's taking him off to go and get some, uh, to order his kinder t-shirt. And so I'm at home alone and it's so quiet. I hate it and I love it. So time to get this house in order. First thing I need to do is the washing. So I've got all of the, um, the beach towels I've got to put on and then everybody's um, clothes. Uh, usually Jamie and Malachi do their own clothes, their own washing, but for the sake of just getting it done, I'm going to do it for them. To me, I'm home and got nothing else to do. <laughs> So Dan does this thing where I'm down the other end of the house and he sees something that he really likes and wants to share with me and he calls me down like a million times a day. <laughs> I like sharing. I mean, most of the time I do, I do appreciate it, but sometimes I just can't feel the getting up. So I only call you for stuff I know you're going to like. But... <laughs> this is true. So we've always rented. Um, we haven't liked renting, but our situation has always put us in a place where we haven't been able to afford to buy a house we've we've been for years trying to get to that point but for whatever reason um circumstances and health and whatever um haven't allowed us to do that so we've lately we've been watching these um youtube channels who are diys um self-reliance um they, some people build um, houses out of shipping containers, others build them out of recycled materials. Yeah, earth, earth ship homes. Um, and we've always wanted to build, so we're like, why don't we just buy land? Because buying land's a lot cheaper than buying a house on land or buying a house. Mm. So we're like, let's buy some land. We have no money at the moment, but it's a dream. And buying land is, I mean, that's beneficial just in its own, having your own piece of land. So we're thinking, and you guys have to let us know in the comments down below, what, what do you think? Should we just um, aim to buy land and then build our own house? I mean, I have a little bit of um, building experience because I grew up in a house which was renovated from one story to two story. Um, so I was always living in a house that was half renovated, always helping dad out. It was more, it wasn't so much one story into two, it was more shack in the woods into a, a massive two-story gorgeous house so i have a bit of experience dan dan i'm, a, I'm a google god <laughs> yeah. if, if i need to find the and answer to something or how to do something i can find it online and youtube mm. so and we've been watching lots of people do stuff so we're like we're gonna start doing some research i think and maybe start aiming and looking for some land and maybe that's going to be our dream realized we've, we've, we've already filled up the house now we just need to build the house <laughs> well we're thinking that we're going to start to reduce a lot of um <laughs> i thought you were going to say reduce the amount of children we've got <laughs> well that's that's funny that <laughs> that's you said one, that. one thing <laughs> well we said we said next was, week's video <laughs> well, we said to malachi no we didn't say to malachi we said to the kids this year we're going to decide we're going to start to reduce the amount of things that we own because we own too many things that we don't use um and it's not necessary. We can entertain ourselves without having 
stuff, superficial things that sit in the cupboard most of the time. And I said, so Malachi, and then everybody laughed because they thought that I meant well, we'll get you, rid of Malachi. You paused. Yeah, I did pause for too long. But what I meant to say was Malachi is one of those children that hang on to everything. Um, he has a problem letting go. That's part of his anxiety and his autism. So we're going to, this year is going to be a year of reducing and letting go and maybe we can make some money out of selling the things that we don't use anymore and that's our goal so come along with us and see how our goals um grow and how our ambitions in this area develop So all the kids are home from school, they've had their um, dinner and we're just getting settled in for the weekend. Tomorrow's Queen's first game of basketball, bright and early, so I'll try and remember to record in amongst all of the chaos because uh, it's very early. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.